Good evening, guys. Good evening, Janet. How are you tonight? Good evening. Well, well, thanks to God. Okay, very good. So this is the last, the last the class. Last day in the week. week. Thanks, God. <laughs> it's right. I see, I see you tired. I'm a little tired tonight, okay? But we'll rest before the, after the class. Oh yeah, of course, okay? And the weekend too. Do you have to work tomorrow? Yeah. Don't work. Don't have to work. Don't have work tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I have to teach, but it's a couple of hours only. Okay. Uh, and it's at, at 11, from 11 to 1. Oh. So I can sleep late if I if I can sleep. Because I uh, wake up morning. at the same time every morning. There's no way I can sleep longer. <laughs> <coughs> you know? So that you will rest. I will rest, definitely. I will rest. So have you been working on the platform? Uh, use the section number one. Uh, ah, tomorrow okay. and Sunday will work. Okay, but you are <laughs> many work. behind. Okay, because... Yes, but have many work. And, but, but on the weekend we'll finish the section number two. And, and three, remember that you have to do the... Three. Okay, remember that you have to do in the middle term. The midterm. Two, three, and middle. So you have to finish. Yes. Can you see the, the screen, the platform? Nope. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, I can see. Okay, very good. So section one, you finish. It's finished. Section two. You have to do no. knowledge check 2.2, knowledge check 2.9, and the reading exercise, a day in your life. Right. And from section three, you have to do the, car the listening exercise, carnival time. You have to do the knowledge check 3.13 and you have to do the reading exercise okay, okay. and the midterm uh, in and the midterm term, which is a circle the words rewriting listening reading and matching matching okay, okay. in the section number one um i was looking how box for my exercise but i don't know what can do it what on can which on which one what will do it in which in which one? The number one. Yes, this is in section the video. number one. Yes, okay, in the this video. Is section number one. Where? In the videos. Um, ah, in the videos. Our peers the will be only at the comments. Yes. Okay. Now here in the knowledge check, yes, you have to answer. Okay. Yeah. And knowledge check one point nine, and then do the reading exercise. But in the video. What happened in the video? How the uh, disc discussion box. Ah, yeah, but that is optional, but do it because the INSA4 looks at that with good eyes, but it's not a, that it will give you a grade. Uh, yeah. Do you understand? Yes, yeah, you understand. Okay, very so good. I don't like uh, leave any without response. No, go ahead and respond, okay? After each after each class, like conversation, go ahead and uh, give your opinion. Okay. Okay? Okay. Good evening, Salvador. How are you tonight? Turn on your microphone, Salvador. Good evening, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Uh, we are discussing that you have to work on the platform, okay? Remember, before Monday, no, be, yeah, before Monday, you have to do section one, section two, and also section three, and you have to do the midterm two, okay? So you have a lot of work to do if you haven't started. Uh, I, I, I have done uh, uh, some exercise on the platform. I go yes, in 3.2. 3.2? Yes. 
3.2, but did you finish section one? Everything. Okay, section two, okay, section three, three point, you have to do 3.4, you have to do the listening exercise 3.6, and then you have to 3. do- 3.6, yes, yes. 3.13 and 3.15. And then the okay. test before Monday, before Monday, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, very good. Luis, how are you tonight, Luis? I'm fine, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? Uh, I'm fine, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, Luis, I'm, I'm explaining them that you have to work on the platform and finish section number one. Uh, knowledge check 1.4. Knowledge check 1.9. And the reading exercise. Okay. Okay. And then come to section number two and do knowledge check 2.2. And knowledge check 2.9 and the reading exercise 2.11. And on okay. section three, you have to do knowledge check 3.4, listening exercise 3.6. And uh, knowledge check 3.13 and the reading exercise, and also a, the midterm before okay. Monday. Excellent, okay. Uh, did you hear that, Danny, Kenya, Lester? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, now, I want to make sure that all of you are working on the platform, okay? Section one, section two, and section three must be completed with the midterm. Before, before Monday, okay, before Monday, because next week is section four, we complete section four, and the following week, section five, and then we do the final. So I don't want you to fall behind with a lot of work, okay? That clear? I'm going okay. to repeat it, okay? From... From section two, you have to do knowledge check 2.2. Uh, knowledge check 2.9 and reading exercise 2.11. From section three, yes, you have to do knowledge check 3.4, the listening exercise carnival time 3.6 and the knowledge check 3.3. And the reading exercise. Okay. And the reading exercise. Okay. Unique custom 3.15 and then do the midterm. The midterm, circle the words, rewriting, listening, reading, and matching. Okay. So please. Make sure that you do that part of the homework. Okay, uh, sir. Sir, yes, one sir? question. Uh, this is for finish the section three. Okay. Yes, this is to finish section three. Okay. Okay, until the reading exercise, but the section three has also the midterm. Okay, so yes, you sir. have to do the midterm too. Once okay. you finish the reading exercise, go and do the midterm. As you know, as you know, the same questions that are in the sections are right here in the midterm. Okay? Okay. Okay, very good. So now what are we going to watch tonight? This is what we have for you tonight, okay? Let me get it for you. Okay, so we have this conversation, the wedding day. That is on page 50, 53, the wedding day. Let me show you.
Okay, can you see it? Page 53, the name is Wedding Day. Okay, so listen to me, please. Okay, let me make it 120. Okay, listen to me, please. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Questions? Is there are uh, some vocabulary that maybe we ignore, you know, sir? Okay, ask like, me, ask um, me. I am here to help you. Yes, sir. Like, okay. for example, a shrine. Shrine, santuario. Uh, shrine, shrine, <laughs> santuario. What else? Groom. Groom, el novio, on the wedding ceremony, on the wedding ceremony, it is called the groom. Solo en la ceremonia de bodas. Before is the boyfriend. Cuando ya se han comprometido, they are the... Uh, they are married. No, the groom and the bride. after they get married. This is before they get married. In the ceremony, this is the groom, el novio. Ah, okay. Okay, and the bride, la novia. Okay. Right. Teacher, what is the meaning afterward? Afterward, después de eso. Okay. Okay, more questions? Afterward. No. No more questions. Okay, oh. repeat after me. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Your wedding pictures are Your really wedding beautiful, Emiko. Are really beautiful, Emiko. Okay, Danny, turn on your uh, microphone. Okay, again. Okay. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Your wedding pictures, Your wedding are, pictures are really beautiful, are really beautiful, 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 Emiko. beautiful Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Thank you. Where was the ceremony? Where was, where the, was the ceremony? Was the ceremony? Money? At a shrine. When people get at married a... in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. At a shrine. At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? That's interesting. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Wait, 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 wait. Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. Well, well, usually, well, family, usually family, family members, members and, and friends, friends, go, those friends go to the ceremony. But after we have a reception, family and friends. Family and friends. So what are receptions like in Japan? So, so what are receptions like in Japan? There is a big dinner and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. 
It sounds like fun. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. It's really the presents. The guests get presents? The guests get presents. Ah, okay. Yes, and the guests give money to the bride and groom. Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Okay, now I like you. If you have the book, this is on page 53, I think. If you don't have the book, take a picture, please. Because I'm gonna break you into pairs so you can role play the conversation. Is that clear? Yes. So if you don't have it, take a picture of this conversation, please. Did you take a picture? Yes, yes I have it. Yes. Everybody? Yes. Let yes. me make sure. Janet, you have the book, right? Yes, I have the book. Salvador, did you take a picture or you have the book? No, sir. Did you no, take a I picture? I don't have the, the book. But did you take a I'm picture? Trying. No, yet. Okay, I will place it again. Carlos, did you take a picture or you have the book? No, I don't have the picture. I don't have okay. the book. Uh, but did you take a picture? Yet. Luis, did you take a picture or you have yes. the book? Yes, yes, teacher. I have the picture. Okay, Lester? Yeah, I have a picture. Uh, Danny? Uh, so I will a photo page. It's page uh, in a minute. Kenya? I have the book, teacher. Uh, Beatriz? Yes, teacher. <laughs> Okay, very good. I will I will share it again. So take a picture. Take a picture, please. Take a picture. The ones that don't have the book, take a picture, please. Danny, do you take a picture? Salvador, do you take a picture? Salvador, do you take a picture? Okay, I'm going to place it again. Take a picture of it, please. Yes, I have the picture. Okay, very good. So I'm going to break you into pairs now, okay? And go ahead. Okay. Remember, when you finish, if you are... In this case, if you are a Jill, when you finish, ro a change role and be a Miko. Is that clear? So change roles. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to make four groups, four pairs. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Uh, Beatriz and Carlos, room number one, Lester and Luis. Room number two, Danny and Salvador. Room number three, Janet and Kenya. Room number four, go ahead. Okay. Carlos, okay, very good. Luis, room number two. Kenya, room number four, please. Luis, room number, okay, very good. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine. And you, Vanessa? 
Okay, I'm gonna um, place you with Beatriz. We are practicing a conversation, okay? Ah, uh, okay. With Janet, go to room number four. I'm gonna place you in room number four, okay? Okay, thank so you. Go ahead, go to room number four with Janet and Kenya. Okay, thank you. Okay. Room number four, Vanessa. Kenya and Vanessa? Now I'm Emiko. Kenya? Kenya? Okay, your wearing pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. These pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At the shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But after war, we had a reception with family and friends. So what are reception like in Japan? There's a big dinner and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then before the guests leave, the bride and groom give the presents. The guests get presents? Yes, and the guests give money to the bride and groom. Okay. Okay. Now I Good will job, be girls. with you, Kenya. Okay. Uh, I will be Emiko. Okay. Uh, your wearing pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? At the shrine. And when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at the shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So what are the reception like in Japan? There is a big dinner and after the food is served, 
The guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give the present. The guests get presents? Yes, and the guests give money to the bride and groom. Okay. Okay, we'll finish. Okay, so you got the chance to practice, correct? Yes, teacher. Yes, very good, very good. Now, I'm waiting just like 20 seconds so the other ones can finish what they were doing. <laughs> Okay, now everybody's here. Page 53, exercise nine. Okay, so go to page 53. We are going to do exercise nine. Let me see who is missing. Kenya, Luis, Danny, Carlos, Beatriz, Vanessa, Lester, Janice. Someone is missing. Who is that? Okay, anyway, now, uh, Salvador is, is back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now, take a look. Uh, I'm going to place, okay, this. Can you see it? Page 53, pronunciation, stress, and rhythm. So listen carefully, please. Pronunciation, stress, and rhythm. Part A, listen and practice. Notice how stressed words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Page 53. Exercise 9, Part B. Listen to the stress and rhythm in these sentences. Then practice them. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Okay, very good. Now, repeat after me. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at the shrine. After the ceremony, there is a reception with family and friends. After the ceremony, there is a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Again, when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Okay, very good. Now, grammar focus. Adverbial clauses of time. Look, this is called the main clause. And this is called the uh, uh, se sequence clause, sequence clause. So take a look. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bridge and groom give them present. And look, right. when we have the main clause at the beginning, a comma is necessary. Can you see it? Okay. 
Okay. okay. So let's see. What do you know about wedding customs in North America? Match these phrases with the information below. Okay, so these are the main clause and these are the following clauses. So match them. This is the beginning, these are the endings. So can you read the first one, please, Lester? Yeah, the first one is before a man and woman get married, mm -hmm. They usually? They usually what? Which one of these ones, A, B, C, D, E, F, is the correct ending? Letter B. Um, begin uh, to man. plan the wedding. No. Uh, letter E. No. Okay. Before on a short trip maybe? called a honeymoon. No. Give the, give the no. woman a diamond ring. Ah, F, no. date e, each e, other for a bath. E. Ah, Begin to plan good. the wedding. Before a oh. man and woman get married, they usually okay, date then. each other for about a year. Before a man and woman get married, they usually date <laughs> each other for about a year. You know what is the meaning of date? One. Okay. It's salen and citas, okay? So they each other, they, they each other for about a year. Okay, number two. Read it, Vanessa. When a couple gets engaged, the men often the men often gives the woman a diamond ring. Exactly. Gives the woman a diamond ring. Excellent. Very good. Number three. Uh, Carlos. Right after a couple gets engaged, 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 they usually yeah. usually go on a short trip called it a honeymoon. No, that's what after they get they married. Ah, help, help, Carlos, please. Right they after the couple gets engaged, yeah. they usually begin. Begin. They begin usually to begin to oh, plan begin the wedding. To plan the wedding. <laughs> they usually plan to begin. They, they usually begin to plan the wedding. Okay, number four, Beatriz. When a woman gets married, her family usually. <laughs> Pays for a we wedding and reception. Exactly. When a woman gets married, her family usually pays for the wedding and reception. Okay. The next one, uh, Kenya. Number five. Uh, when people are invited to a wedding, they almost always give the bride and groom a gift or some money. Okay. Very good. That is excellent. Okay, Let, uh, the last one, volunteer, Janet. Okay, right after a couple gets married, they usually go on a short trip called a honeymoon. Okay, and these are called adverbial clauses of time. Okay, repeat after me. Before a man and woman get married, they usually date each other for about a year. Before, Before a man, a man and a woman, woman get married, married they, they usually date each, each other for about, about, year. about a year. When a couple gets engaged, the man often gives the woman a diamond ring. When, when a couple, couple gets, gets engaged, engaged, the man often, often gives the woman a diamond ring. Right after a couple gets engaged, they usually begin to plan the wedding. Right after a couple gets engaged, they usually plan the wedding. When a woman gets married, her family usually pays for the wedding and reception. When a woman gets married, her family usually pays for the wedding and reception. When people are invited to a wedding, they almost always Give the bride and groom a gift or some money. 
When people are invited, 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 invited to our wedding, wedding but almost all the people who are at school are on Friday morning. morning. I'll give some some money. Money. <laughs> okay, right after a couple gets married, they usually go on a short trip called a honeymoon. Right after a couple gets married, they usually go on a short trip called a honeymoon. I am a honeymoon. Okay. Very good. Now, Fun. honeymoon. Okay, very good. Now, this is the workbook. Okay, this is the workbook. So, here, what happens at these times in your country? Complete the sentences. Now, number one, can you read it, please? Can you see what I have on the screen? Yes, right? Yes, each other. Uh -huh. Read it, please. Before? Before a man and woman get married, usually, usually they, they each other. Each other. They usually date each other. They usually date each other. They usually date each other. Okay. Now, number two, what happens in your country when someone has a birthday? Remember, complete. When someone, go ahead. When someone, when someone has a birthday, birthday. birthday. we call the pizza hut. Okay, they, they call a pizza. Okay, they call or they bring a pizza. Let's see, Carlos. What happens with number two? Number two, when someone has a birthday. Uh, people great grading. People greet, greet him or her. Okay, Luis Diaz, when someone has a birthday, what happens? Eat cake. Um, we are eat cake. No, 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 complete. Complete. Cake. Complete. <laughs> when, when someone. Complete, when, Luis. Some when, has, someone. when someone has a birthday, um, they... They, uh, they eat see. cake. They eat cake. They eat uh, pizza. They, they eat <laughs> pizza. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me see. Wells, Danny. Oh, where is Danny? Beatriz, when someone has a birthday, what is your ending? Uh, people has a uh, party. With cake, uh, um, a special food, um, give give presents. Okay, when someone has a birthday, they get presents. When someone has a birthday, we make a party. Okay. okay. Vanessa, number three. Before some people eat a meal. Eh. Back to the office again. Ah, uh, before or after? Ah, uh, yes, before. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. I'm confused. Uh, before some people eat meal, uh, usually watch TV. No, okay. No. Now, what is your idea, Salvador? Before some people eat a meal? Mm. Before some people eat a meal, uh, uh, people usually wash their hands, you know? Ah, uh -huh. okay, know. they wash their hands, very good. My idea, before some people eat a meal, they pray. You understand what is the meaning of pray? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, yes. very good. Yes. Okay, after a student graduates, uh -huh, let me see. Luis, after a student graduates. Um, they are prepared to uh, celebrate. Okay, they prepare a celebration. Okay, very good. Janet. After a student graduates. After a student graduates, 
They need to make the final exams. They need. Okay, that is. Okay. No, because that is after. In the moment. Time. Okay, so they have a party. Okay. Lester, when a woman gets engaged, what happens? Uh, sorry, what's the meaning of engaged? Engaged, comprometida. Comprometerse. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, she usually use a ring. Uh -huh. She usually gets use a ring. Okay, Vanessa, when a couple has their first child. When a couple has their first child, usually. Usually, usually take pictures and and post on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good idea. Good idea. Very good. Beatriz, when a person retires, you understand what is the meaning of retires? Um, uh, from work. From work. When a person retires from work. Go to travel around the world. Go to travel around the world. Very good. <laughs> Now, number six, complete the paragraph with the information in the box. Add a comma where necessary. But look, we have the adverbial clause can come before or after the main clause. So do you see before the main clause, when a couple gets married, so we add a comma and then the uh, adverbial clause. After the Compliment. main clause, do not add a comma. A, comma, a couple often receive gifts when they get married. So you add a comma when we begin with the adverbial clause, okay? Here, we're supposed to use one of these in the, in the blank space, spaces. Okay, okay let's see, uh, Carlos, start reading. Newly married couple. Newly married couple often live on their on their honey. Activate your Carlos. I'm sorry. Accidentally, I turn off your microphone. Turn it on, please. Newly married couples often live on their honeymoon. When they have enough money to pay you for it. No. Uh huh. Help, Danny. Help, Carlos. Newly married. Newly married means recién casado. Newly married okay. couples often live on their honeymoon. Which one do you use? Uh, before the wedding reception ends. Exactly. Okay. Before the wedding reception ends, they leave. You yeah. know, for their honeymoon. Okay, now, next volunteer, Salvador. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. when, when they go, when they go on their honeymoon, most couples like to be alone. Most couples like to be alone, very good. Next, uh, Janet. They can, uh, they can only live in their own place. No, no, no. After they come back. Okay, okay. After they come back from their honeymoon. Many, yeah, many new. Newlyweds. 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 How to live with rel relatives. How to live with relatives. Very good. Lester. Okay. They can only live in their own place when they have enough money to pay for it. Okay. Very good. Very good. Now, okay. Now we're going to come back here and we are going to do this reading. You need customs. Can you see it? 
I'm gonna yes. I'm gonna read it for you. You need customs. You understand what is the meaning of you need customs? Yes. Costumbres. Ah, uh -huh. costumbres únicas. Okay, look at the photos. What do you think is happening in each picture? So here, January 17 in San is San Antonio's day in Mexico. It's a day when people ask for protection for the animals by bringing them to church. But before the animals go into church, the people usually dress them up in flowers and ribbons. Questions? Ribbons. Mm. Ribbons are cintas. Uh, uh, like you remember when they play, uh, póngale la... La cola al burro. Okay, so that, 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 that cola del burro is a ribbon. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, more okay. questions? Listones, teacher. Ah? Listones. Ribbon listones, is like liston. Listones, correcto. Listones. That is correct. Listones. Okay, it's ribbons. More questions? No. Okay, on August 15 of the lunar calendar, Koreans celebrate Chuseok, also known as Korean Thanksgiving. It's a day when people give thanks for the harvest. Korean families honor their ancestors by going to their graves to take them rice and fruit and clean the grave sites. Questions? No question. What is the meaning graves? Graves, tumbas. Tumbas. Oh. And grave sites, donde está la tumba. Okay? Okay. Grave sites. Okay. More questions? No. Long ago, and in India, a princess who needed help sent her silk, silk bracelet to an emperor. Although he did not arrive in time to help her, he kept the bracelets as a sign of the bond between them. Today in India, during the festival of Raki, men promise to be loyal to their women. In exchange, the women give them a bracelet of silk, cotton, or gold thread. Questions? Uh, what is the meaning thread? Thread, hilo, gold thread, un hilo de oro. Cotton, algodón, silk, seda. Yes. More questions? Although is aunque, professor. Aunque, aunque. Aunque. Although he Aldo. did not arrive in time, aunque no llegó a tiempo para ayudarla, he kept the bracelets as a sign of the bond entre el lazo entre ellos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Number right. four. One of the biggest celebrations in Argentina is New Year's Eve. On the evening of December 31st, family get together and have a big meal. At midnight, fireworks explode everywhere and continue throughout the night. This is the day when friends and family meet for parties which last until the next morning. Questions? No question. Okay, on the evening of February 3rd, people in Japan celebrate the end of winter and the beginning of spring. This is known as sesubun. Family members throw dry beans around their homes, shouting, good luck in, evil spirits out. After they throw the beans, they pick them up and eat one bean for each year of their age. Questions? No, teacher. No questions? No, teacher. Okay, so question number one. How do people in Mexico dress their animals on San Antonio's Day? With ribbons and, and the flowers. People usually dress them in flowers and Ribbons. Ribbons. Here, 
Very good. Number two. Everybody read the question. Why do Koreans celebrate Shusok? Why do Koreans celebrate Shusok? For give them for the harvest. Exactly. Koreans celebrate Shusok. Also known as Korean Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. It's a day when people give thanks for the harvest. Give thanks for okay? the harvest. Very because good. When people give thanks for the harvest. Exactly. That is correct. Very good. Okay. The next question. Why do Indian women give men a bracelet for the festival of Raki? Uh, because it's a sign of the bond between them. He promised to be loyal. Uh -huh, exactly. Okay, very good. It's a sign of promise. Men promise. To be, to be loyal to, be loyal to, to their, their women, to right? Women. So that's Very why loyal. women give men a bracelet. That is, I promise the men to be loyal to the women. Very good. What do families in Argentina do on New Year's Eve? Mm. Families get together and have a big meal. When the family get together, it's in a big meal. Okay, and at midnight, fireworks explode mm. every way and continue throughout the night. Okay? Yes. Very good. Mm. What do Japanese families do during Sesubun? Uh, Dried beans around their home. Throw dried beans. Uh -huh. Family members throw dried beans around their home, beans shouting, their good luck, give all spirits out. Evil spirits out. Okay, very Pick good. Pick up the beans. Uh -huh. And the beans, they have to pick them up and eat them. And eat them for each year of their age. So if you are 50, you eat 50 beans. Okay? Now, the next one. Mm. Them. What does this word refer to? Them in paragraph one, line two. So that is right here. Line, what is said? It says paragraph one, line two. Them. What them refers to? Animals. Aha, uh -huh. to the animals. That is correct. Very good. Now, number two. Eat in paragraph number two, line two. <clears throat> eat in paragraph, okay. Eat, what this is supposed to mean? Mm, the shoe sock. So. The shoe sock, okay. Very good. The shoe sock. Great. Shoe sock. Very good. Okay, next. There, in paragraph number two, line number four. Line number four, they said yeah. there. There. The families. Uh-huh. The Korean right. families. There. Exactly. It, it, it talks about their ancestors. Ancestors. So there refers to their ancestors. Their ancestors. Okay. Okay, next. Them in paragraph three, line five. Paragraph three, one, two, three, four, five. Them. Them refers to. Them. Uh -huh. Them refers to. To the woman. No, not to the woman. The woman gives them. them. Yeah. Um, the the man, the man, right? The, the man, man, the man, the man. Okay, the man. very good. Now, 
Let's go to this in paragraph four, line four. This refers to? The New Year's, New Year's Eve. Exactly, New Year's Eve, very good. Excellent. Now the next one and the last one. Then in paragraph five, line five, one, two, three, four, five. So he says mm -hmm. them. Okay. The so them refers to the them. The them. The beans. The beans. The beans. That is correct. The it beans. refers to the to the beans. The beans. Where are the beans? Uh -huh. To the beans. That is correct. Very good. Excellent, guys. Very good. So now you are able, let me take you here. And you are able to do, you are able to do uh, the reading exercise, unique customs. You are able to do the knowledge check 3.13. Adverbial clauses of time. And remember to do also the listening exercise. This is in section number three. When you finish, go ahead and do the midterm. Circle the words, rewriting, listening, reading, and matching. Okay? Before Monday. Do you have any questions, guys? No. No, teacher. It's okay, clear. so I'm going to let you go, but I want to wish you a very good night and a very good weekend. Unfortunately, thank you, you teacher. Have you have to you work too. on the See you on Monday. Okay, so have a good night. See you, good night, teacher. See you good Monday. Night. Have a nice you sir. Good night. Good night. See you. Bye. 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 See you Monday. Have a good night. Okay. See you. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. See you Monday. Monday. Have a good night. And remember to work on the platform, please. Okay. Thank you. The midterm bye -bye. must be completed before Monday. Okay. Good night, guys. Good night.